I want you to check this out right here. A new documentary series on Netflix takes you deep into the world of professional mermaids. Her people just dropped last month and a former Wiki Watchy performer is featured in the series. Barbara Wins here with us this morning, live in studio to tell us all about it. I, th I think both of us have a thousand questions yes. because it's fascinating, but you are retired from this now. Oh, uh, well, you never retire as a mermaid. Once okay. you're birthed um, and have a tail or no tail, you're not retired. I did perform at Wiki Wachi uh, covering 50 years uh -huh. often from the time I saw it. So 60s and 70s and then from 97 at the 50th to 2013. And I was with a group of girls that are still at Wiki Wachi putting on the mermaid camps and so forth. So I'm not in the water at Wiki, but I'm still a mermaid. But she's still. Yeah. She's still I'm a, a Wiki Wachi mermaid. <laughs> I'm not the new mermaid. For life. Well, you yeah. said something that, that piqued my interest there. You said one, two things. Once you're birthed, you know, it mm -hmm. just keeps going. So what does it mean to be birthed? And also, what was it like to see yourself on the Netflix series? It was terrible. I didn't realize <laughs> I was so wrinkled. I'm a 17-year-old mermaid, remember? So <laughs> looking out, I'm still 17. So seeing myself as... Um, Ursula didn't look so. No, but oh no. Always anyway, Ariel. you know, I, I I know I don't have much time. I just want to say this mermaid energy is real. I was a wiki watching mermaid. I saw them eat and drink and ride surreys and walk on tight ropes. I showed up and was showed how to do that. You gotta not to be afraid of the water. Yeah. you've gotta want to do it. I got to do that. But we were wiki watching performers that wore a tail once in a while. Splash and a Little Mermaid, and Eric Ducharme, the mer tailor, has started the birthing of this creation. The and birthing, his, and yeah. as a former mermaid, we got to put on adult mermaid camps. I had worked with the children, and the parents said, I want to do it, I want to do it. So we got to put on, and it's still going, a mermaid camp for adults. It, it only took them five minutes. They wanted to do it all their life. The only place to be a mermaid was at Wiki Wachi. And tails weren't that prevalent until the 90s. So this birthing has given women, men, children, every age, every size, an identity. And you'd be surprised how many people are mer people. But they can't get to the water. Right. There are, no, there are no there are no there are no ponds. Yeah, you're you a Florida know? girl. Though. I'm a so Florida. Grew I grew up in the spring. So when I saw it, I'm like, I can get paid to do that. I had been in the cold, clear water my whole life. Sure. So what you see on this documentary is this new birthing of this energy of wanting to get in the water with their tails. And they don't have water. I encourage pools to let them in, sign a waiver. Nobody's going there to do anything but get wet. Do you know what I mean? They're in less danger than just swimmers jumping off the edge. I encourage that. I encourage anybody that wants a tail to get one. And I want you to see in the documentary that everybody that's ever been a wiki watchy mermaid has that same desire to get back into that spring. Right. I think that may be one of the most fascinating things. Yes. You, er watch this, yes. you can then watch it in your own backyard. Yes. Over to yes. Definitely yes. kindred spirits there. Yeah. It is, it is, it is a soul kindred spirit. Well, thank you so much for thank coming you. and sharing your experience with okay. us. We appreciate it. You got to check her out on Netflix.